So PyCharm is a really powerful Python platform. You're gonna have access to their intelligent code editor, integrated debugger, testing support, and all that other jazz. They're made by JetBrains. So what you have to do is navigate to jetbrains.com forward slash PyCharm forward slash download. Please see the link in the description. This part is extremely important. You have to select the operating system that you are using. So in my case, that's Windows. I will leave it as Windows. Obviously, if you're using an Apple product, you're gonna select Mac OS and Linux is Linux. If you're a professional developer looking for this Python ID, you can download it right here and use a 30 day free trial. However, for everybody else, PyCharm Community Edition is perfect. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click this download option. And here you're simply going to select where you want the file to be saved. So I will do the downloads folder. I will click save. Once it's downloaded, you can find it in the actual folder. If you're using Google Chrome, you can go over here and look at the recent download history. So I'll go ahead and select the PyCharm community. I will click it. And over here, it's just asking us if we want to allow it to make changes to your device. Obviously, we'll have to select yes. You will then see a pop-up with welcome to PyCharm community edition setup. You're gonna select next here. Once again, you're gonna have to choose a destination folder. For me in program files is just fine. I'm gonna click next. So let's now talk about these various installation options that you get presented with. So the first is quite simple, create desktop shortcut. This just creates a PyCharm community edition shortcut on your desktop so that if you double click it, it will open up PyCharm. This is helpful, why not? The update path variable, restart is needed for this, is where you're able to add bin folder to the path. All this means is that you're gonna be able to execute PyCharm tools directly from the command prompt. Most of you are not gonna do that, but why not have this option available? The update context menu, this is just going to add an open folder as project option. So when you have a folder, if you right click a Python project folder, it's gonna allow you to open folder as project within PyCharm. I'm gonna go ahead and select that option as well. And the create associations.py. So this is important to discuss. This will set PyCharm as the default application to open a Python source file. So this is a great idea if PyCharm is the only IDE on your computer. However, if you're going to be using various IDEs and you don't want PyCharm to be the default one, then maybe don't select this and leave it off so that you can choose what .py files which IDE to open them with. Again, for most of us, PyCharm is gonna be the only IDE on our computer, so I'm gonna leave that checked as well. I'm gonna click Next. In this section, I would just leave it the way they have it as JetBrains, which will create a new folder called JetBrains. So we'll go ahead and we'll click Install. If it's taking a bit of time, don't worry. I have a pretty fast computer and on my computer, it took about two to three minutes. It is now instructing me that my computer must be restarted in order to complete the installation of PyCharm Community Edition. Do you want to reboot now? So if you wanna do it later, you can go ahead and select, I want to manually reboot later. I prefer to reboot now. I'll click finish and my computer will reboot. So I went ahead and restarted my computer and now you can see that if I click the Windows icon, the PyCharm community icon is available right here and the shortcut also appears on my desktop. So I'll go ahead, I'll click PyCharm. Over here, you're gonna carefully read the community edition terms because everybody reads terms and policies before they click I confirm that I've read and accepted the terms of this user agreement. We're then gonna click continue. In this part, it's asking if we wanna help JetBrains improve its products by sending anonymous data about features and plugins used. And I wanna stay off the grid, so I'm actually gonna select don't send, but if you wanna help JetBrains out, go ahead and click send anonymous statistics. I'm gonna choose not to send, so I will select don't send. And now I see the welcome to PyCharm window. So if I click new project right here, I can go ahead and call it subscribe to promo ambitions. I'm gonna click create. 
I'm going to click on this .venv library root folder. I will select new. I will select Python file. I'm going to name it subscribe. I'm going to click enter. And now I will type in print, open parentheses, quotation marks, subscribe to promo ambitions. We're then going to use a backslash and YouTube channel. Make sure the quotation marks and closed parentheses are there. And then we're simply going to run this. And if we run this, you will see it says subscribe to Promo Ambitions YouTube channel in the terminal section right here. And how did we run it? We simply clicked this play button, run subscribe.py. But I will cover all of this in future tutorials. And I will sprinkle in a lot of helpful Python tutorials that are super easy to understand. So if you want to sharpen up your Python skills or you're a complete beginner and you want to learn Python this year, definitely make sure you're subscribed to this channel because I'm going to be dropping some Python knowledge on not only all of you, but myself as well, because I will be refreshing my skill set. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys for watching this video in its entirety, and I will see all of you in the next one.